We're going to take a look at um, making Profibus connections and you can see here there's a couple of tools and I would advise quite strongly in, in getting these. This is the Profibus connection tool which will do um, Profibus PA and DP cable. Um, you can see the part number there and then when you flip that over there's some part numbers for all of the, the different adapters that you can use. So, so basically you take your cable and you measure it up against the part number that you're using. That's the professional way of doing it. I'll show you the Steve Howes way of doing it in a minute. Um, so there's that one there for, for your purple, blue and black cable and then for your, for your uh, Ethernet cable, which I'll, I'll get some quick connects out in a minute. We have another part number. It's another stripping tool. Um, and you can see the part number there, green for, for uh, Ethernet or Profinet cable. And then underneath here, sorry, I'll turn that around. You can see all of your part numbers for the different types of fast connect systems for Ethernet. So those are your two tools. And what we'll have a look at first is obviously the, the, the Profibus DP connections. So there's various types of, of Profibus DP connectors. And, and really, when you look at network issues, um, bad termination and connections are where it normally happens. We have to remember that really DP is not um, a network really designed to, to be connecting directly to instruments out in the field in challenging applications like hazardous area, very dusty and, 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 uh, and high moisture contents. It can struggle if it gets uh, those onto the connections. That's what Profibus PA is, is, is there for. But this Profibus DP connection, if you have a look here, you'll see there's an in and an out. So the in is on the left hand side and the out is on, on, on the right hand side. When you're making your connections, you have to remember um, your conventional way of wiring um, Profibus DP is a daisy chain. So you have one here, there's another connector. So this is a straight connector. That was a, a 90 degree connector. And you can see here, I have an in and out. So this would be in the middle. Um, you can see my wires inside and I'll open one up in a minute so you can see it. These are, these are my preferred uh, connections. They're a lot quicker and easier to do. They clamp and uh, there's no, no uh, screw terminals involved. If we go back to this, we've got our in and out. Now, when you've got two cables going in and out, that means that this is in the middle of your network. And you'll see here um, a termination resistor and it will say on and off. When it's in the middle of the network, that needs to be in the off position. Okay, now when you've got your connector at the end or the beginning of your network, you'll only have a wire going into the in. And when you ha only have one wire going into the in, then you need to turn the resistor to the on position as shown there. Okay, so you need, um, on your whole network, you'll have one at the beginning, okay, that says in, and then that will go off and there'll be a daisy chain and then there'll be another one right at the end that says in, and that will be uh, the end of line termination. Now what you can see here, I haven't got one unfortunately, but if you need to do any data analyzing on your network, really what you want is a piggyback connector. So if you want to make your, your network completely secure, the best way to do it is to have this connection here where you've got no piggyback connector and then have something like a, uh, an example of Siemens repeater or an active repeater which has your connection on there. Um, and what that means is if you have bad cables um, connected to your programming device, uh, it's not going to affect the rest of the network. If you just use a conventional piggyback connector and you have bad wiring, then when you connect your bad wiring to the network, you could just tip it over and, and you could be inducing the issues. So there we have, there's the connectors. So we're going to have a look at wiring one up next.
So there's your there's your connector. I'll try and zoom in so you can see that see the part number. There's the part number for the particular uh, connector we're using. So uh, seven nine seven two. Um, I'm just going to open this up. So there's one one screw to to get in. And when we look inside, you'll see this clamping arrangement. So you lift these up, ready for, for what we're going to do next. So you take your stripper tool. We're going to have a look on here. There's our, there's our connector we've already got. So this is the in. So at the end of the in, we have our cable. We haven't cut it off very straight, but it doesn't matter. And then if we have a look at the, the tool, our part number is on that um, second one down from the top. You can see it there, the 792. So we're gonna line this up here with that. It's not an accurate, push it against. And then with the tool, screw over there, push this, okay. And then just run it around the cable. And you can get replacement blades for these. So when you've done that, you can first of all strip off your plastic connections and there's your So once you've stripped off your and butcherized your cables like I have, you can see there your green and, and your and your red. So red is positive. And there's another line here. If we just ease that off, you can see my blade is getting a bit blunt on this, but it's done the trick. There's my screen. Now that's that is the most important thing with Profibus DP and PA. We need that screen connection. So I just want to show you my way of, of using these connectors. I, I basically strip off so you've got quite a long core and then I know that that is meant to go there and I can, can see that I need to cut that, that section off at the top. And once I've got that, regardless of what the tool says, I, I'm more happy with that connection now. You can see there that that's touching the, the screen nicely. I haven't got too much sleeve going in. So let's push that down so it's a nice tight connection. And then we'll screw that up and uh, we'll finish off. So there we have the connection. Nice and tight. It's clamped correctly. Um, this is going to go right at the end of my network, so I only have an in. And there we go. Now, if you put that into the out and you flip that resistor on, then you, you won't see the network. So you have to get this in the right one. Okay, so always go into the in if you've only got one cable going into to this with the termination resistor on. To finish off, I'm going to show you the Ethernet quick connect tool. So we've already seen this at the beginning. There's the part number and we have these um, quick connect uh, Cat5 cable connections. So this is the four core cable. Uh, these four cores are relatively easy. So we similar theory. I'll use the longest measurement into the tool and then strip that. So we've got two cuts, one for uh, connection wires and one for the screen. Again, um, the good thing about these industrial Ethernet connectors is that they're not like the cheap ones that you might get from, you know, off Amazon or somewhere like that. We, we, we do have this good screen connection. So I'm just gonna tidy that up. So there you have your four colors. These are, are way too long. If I put them in, I'm not going to worry about it. You'll see, see what I mean. So 
So there you can see they're way too long. So same again as what I did with the Profibus connectors. Measure them up and, and roughly cut off that, that, that end section. Okay, probably been a bit too brutal there to be totally honest with you. And then make the colours line up. You do need to be a bit more precise with these, these Ethernet cables compared to the Profibus cables when you're making a, uh, if you want to make a nice job. So if you have a look there, look, you probably can't quite see, but I could have gone in by an extra mil. This is why I was saying you're a bit more precise. And the reason for that is if you do bend this, you, you can see there you're going to start to show the screen. So it depends how tidy you want to be. Uh, you can get right angle versions of these. This is a straight connector if, you, if you're worried about those. So there you go. Overview of the two quick connect tools. And um, to be honest, I've seen that many messy jobs on site where people have struggled stripping the screens back. I, I would strongly advise to, to, to get one of these tools if, if you're working on these type of network solutions. So thanks for listening. I hope it was useful. And please remember to hit that subscribe button and the, the bell to get notifications so you can be the first to, to, to view upcoming videos. Thanks for listening.